What is it like to live in a house that has cast iron pipes? I wanna show you what it's like. So this is my garage and this water right here. That ain't the water here. That is water coming up through the slab. So I don't think a lot of people know that around here in North Texas, back in the 60s, 70s, and 80s especially, they used cast iron pipes, cast iron uh, pipes to run the sewer system. And uh, those things are going bad right now. They get, they get worn out, they get cracked, they get eroded. And then uh, next thing you know, your water starts bubbling up through your slab. I wanna kinda show you what I'm having to go through on my own personal house and what you should be watching for if you're buying your next home that was built in the 70s or 80s. So I wanna go back here. I'm actually on day two right now, so I didn't get to show you exactly what was happening yesterday, but they're out here this morning working on this. So this is on the back of my house. The, the bathroom is right there. And they're digging, uh, how long is this tunnel gonna be? Yeah. Like 50 feet, right? Yeah. yeah, so they're having to dig a 50 foot tunnel under my house. And they got all this dirt back here. Man. So once they, once they dig through there, it's gonna take them, I don't know, maybe another day or so. And then uh, they'll have to get under there and fix the pipe. So once they finish digging that tunnel, they're gonna get under there and remove all the, the old cast iron pipes and have to put in some new PVC. But once it's all done, I'm gonna have a brand new sewer system. Unfortunately, it's not gonna really add any value to my home. Kind of bummed about that, but uh, it is gonna stop it from being destroyed. I'm gonna come back and give you some more video here over the next couple of days so you can see exactly what they're having to do. This right here is what they're replacing all the cast iron with. New PVC. I don't even know what day this is. This has been happening for a week now. I don't know, we're on day five or so. This is the front of my house. They had to dig this little trench here. So you can see this right here. This is the old cast iron system. It's all cast iron pipes. That right there is the, that's the fresh water that goes into the house from the city. Oh, look at that. Let's crawl out. All that dirt right there was under my house at one point. So this is kind of what you got to deal with sometimes being a homeowner. And this stuff is very expensive. Um, again, the whole reason why I'm sharing this with you is if you're purchasing a property that might have a cast iron system in there, you definitely want to have it checked out. If you're a seller that's got a cast iron system, just know that this kind of stuff could pop up and it could completely derail the sale of your home. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. I hate to be the messenger for this kind of stuff, but man, this is kind of what you got to deal with right now. And um, unfortunately for this cast iron system, they only have a lifespan of potentially 40 to 50 years. And so this home that, that I'm living in was built in 85, I think. So it's, you know, about 40, almost 45 years old now. So it's getting to the end of its life. And what am I gonna do about it? <laughs> you know, otherwise, if, if I don't fix this, it's just gonna destroy my house slowly. And, uh, you know, my investment in it is obviously going to go down. And the, the big problem is that me spending the cash on this is unfortunately not going to raise the value of my home at all just how it goes in the life of real estate. Hey, you could be a renter though and never own anything and just throw your throw your money away on rent. There's that too. 
You hear that? That's them under the house right now, chipping away at everything. All right, so we're about a week into this thing and these are the clean outs. So this is what the, this is what the cast iron looks like underground. There you go, you can see the bottom of it there. This is what starts to happen to it. It starts to get all corroded and broken on the bottom. And then this is when you start having problems because all of your sewage starts leaking out underneath the house. And that's uh, the, the worse it gets, the more problems you can have with foundation. And as you can see, they had to pull out my poor bush. Looks like that thing's dead. This is the cast iron system they had to pull out from under the house. You can see how beat up it gets. I've actually seen them a lot worse. Uh, I've seen them completely corroded away, half of it. These are actually still kind of looking tacked, but you know, the problem is they were all cracked and broken and the water is just going to go uh, wherever it can. So again, we're on uh, day, I don't know, seven or so. They ought to be finished installing the new pipe today. And then they'll have to put all this dirt back into the house. Okay, so they're almost finished day eight or whatever. I don't know, I haven't really been keeping track, but this is all new, new sewer line. I'm not gonna get down in there and show you, but all that cast iron has been replaced with brand new PVC pipe. So now I should never have any problems with my house ever again, right? Okay, here we are about 10 days later. It's all fixed up now. Not totally finished. They still have a couple of finishing items to make. Obviously, there's not going to be a big pipe sticking out of the ground like that, I don't think. Lost a bush though. That's too bad. But um, as you can see, they cleaned up pretty nicely. There's a huge pile of dirt here earlier. The grass is a little dead. It'll grow back though. And. Uh, See all of this old cast iron pipe that they pulled out from underneath the house. All of this was causing huge problems. So uh, everything ought to be perfect. Right? 